I'm back working in Bradford again and I've chosen a hotel a little bit further away. This is actually nearer Leeds. So I've had an okay one, which was the guidepost in Bradford. I had a not so good one, which was the Campanile, both of which are on this channel. See what you think of this one. Hi, it's Craig. Welcome back to Craig's Life and welcome to another review. I am still working in Bradford. I'm still in hotel, just taking the one night per week to break up the week. This is a little bit further out. It's just off the outer ring road uh, in Leeds and it's the Wheatwood Hall Estate. Now, Wheatwood Hall Estate is not only is it at this hotel, you've got a manor house with function rooms, there's a conference centre here. There's golf. I think I can hear some people out there playing cricket. And it does warn you on the booking sites that I use that you may get a little bit of aircraft noise because you're not that far away from Lee's Bradford Airport. I've heard a couple go over, but it's actually not too terrible because by the time they go over, they're actually at a pretty decent altitude. So let's have a look around and see what we think of this hotel. Here's the view we see as we walk straight into the room. Immediately on our right here, we have got uh, our wardrobe and in the bottom of the wardrobe, we do have a safe. There is actually no iron, an ironing board, but I don't really need it anyway, but some people might. And here is the main room. Of course, we have a luggage rack here and we have a rather lovely sleigh bed with something that I haven't seen in a hotel for a while, an actual rather nice bedspread. And we have two chairs. Quite often you go into hotels and there's only one chair. I mean, what, what do they think? Do they think you, only one of you is going to sit down? And it's got a nice view overlooking um, the front of the hotel. I'll show you that uh, in in just a moment. Uh, here we've got uh, obviously the bedside cabinet. There are power sockets just down there. And if we swing back the other way, we have the AC unit and the TV on, on the wall. Now, I think this is a little bit of an unusual spot for the TV. I would have thought the TV would have been better on this wall, directly opposite the bed. But for some reason, it's over there. But... Uh, no matter. We also have a plug socket, a twin plug socket down on this side of the bed. The thing you'll notice as well, there's only actually one bedside table um, here as well. Now here we've got our dressing table slash workspace area. Uh, not only have you got a couple of power sockets here, you do actually have this uh, connector here. So if you wanted to hook up a laptop or a device or an HDMI or your computer to the TV above you can you can do so without having to fiddle around putting cables direct into the back of the TV we have a rather nice tea and coffee making facilities here and a nice clear kettle only four milks again so we mentioned before if there's a couple of you and you like a couple of coffees each or teas you haven't got enough milk Yorkshire tea of course we are in Yorkshire and Scottish shortbread, interestingly enough. A uh, couple of drawers here and there, should you need it, is your hairdryer and in this cupboard, a mini fridge with a couple of bottles of Harrogate mineral water there. So this is the view directly out of the front window. So here we've got the turning circle with some disabled parking. And uh, they were actually more or less directly over the reception here you can just actually see uh, maybe not quite so fantastically clear but the bit at the end of the building there that's the original manor house uh, to which I was referring and beyond there of course is the car parking where all those trees are that you can see there's the beautiful um, pink shrub there I'm not quite too sure what this is called I'm sure some of you will tell me what that is called directly behind that that uh, appears to be where they're playing cricket and if we just look slightly to the right, we can't get much more of a view, but just round here, that is the conference area. So it's actually a hotel and a conference center. Here we are in the bathroom. So immediately as you walk in, we have a nice large 
mirror, we've got some beakers there and some toiletries, but you've also got a hand soap just there, um, which you can just use as much as you need. These uh, we've talked about before, I don't use those, but the, uh, they are there should you need them. Directly opposite, we have a bath with a shower. There's no screen, there is a curtain this time, but I have had a look at the curtain and it is very nice and clean. And it's a good quality curtain. One of the reasons why I don't like curtains is sometimes you do get mildew on them, but also sometimes when the shower's on, they move in slightly and they can tend to stick um, a little bit, a little bit clingy at times. So that's generally why I'm not much of a fan. I have noticed that there are some small amounts of mildew uh, in the corners here. Not the end of the world, but that would actually clean off quite easily. But other than that, the place is immaculately clean. Okay, so I've been a little bit nitpicky there about the mildew in the bathroom, but as a whole, this is a beautiful hotel. It is in a lovely state of repair. It's a lovely estate. I had a very nice welcome when I came on. And let's tell you a little bit about the hotel uh, with regards to the cost. Um, for reference, today is the 31st of May. 2023. Now, I originally booked a standard room at £74 for the night. Um, there was an option of a superior room, which was £89 a night, and there was also an option of a superior room with air conditioning, which is what this one is. Now, when I arrived, um, I was met by, I saw in his name badge, Dom, who was the reception supervisor, who was very friendly and asked if I stayed here before. And I said, no, he says, well, welcome. I'm going to upgrade you. And I said, well, thank you very much. So this is actually an upgraded room. The reason why I didn't go for the superior room is for one night, I just didn't see the point. I just didn't think that it would be worth the extra um, 15 pounds. There were some rooms that were a lot smaller. Uh, there was the compact rooms. Um, but even those, you know, it might be half the size of this, but even from the photographs, they did actually look very, very pleasant. So on the whole, this is a, a lovely hotel. You are just north of Leeds here. Um, so from where I'm working, it's about seven miles. You are also not too far away from places like Headingley. So if you're a fan of the cricket, you're also not too far away from the airport. Um, I haven't looked into uh, transfers or anything like that. I think it's probably about four, maybe five miles, if that, um, to Lee's Bradford Airport from here. So there's a little bit about the area. Now we have got the situation where we decide, one, will I stay here again? And two, what score am I going to give this? Well, you can probably guess, yes, I'm going to stay here again. If given the chance, this is lovely even if i had a standard room and not been upgraded to the superior room by the way you're not all going to get upgrades just because you you walk into a hotel and you start reviewing on craig's life it's not going to automatically give you an upgrade um but you know hey you can try um so even if i had the standard room i'm sure it wouldn't affect the score in, in any way because i think this is just walking in here everything just looks very nice you can tell an awful lot of money has been spent here so one being the worst five being the best where does this one sit this for me is a four uh it has got the wow factor you do drive up a very 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 nice drive um it is very good i wouldn't say it is spectacular but it is certainly very nice so there we have it this is the wheatwood hall um estate just outside of leeds and i hope you have enjoyed this review until the next time oh actually there's a plane just about to go over now i don't know if you're picking up the noise of that on the microphone but there is actually a plane going over yep there it is The windows are open, so it's not too terrible, and they don't fly through the night at East Bradford, so you shouldn't have any problems. I think the last one's about half past ten, eleven o'clock. So, um, and they go from six in the morning. So there we are, as I said, Wheatwood Hall Hotel, just outside of Leeds. 
until the next time, I'll look forward to seeing you right here on Craig's Life. Until then, bye!